new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can create a button just like this that allows you to move between scene one and scene two and going back as well. This will be a very quick and easy tutorial, but I'm sure you will learn a lot from it and you will use it in your game. Please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe and let me know how I can improve this channel. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. Now, as you can see, I already have scene one over here, which is currently empty. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a button that takes us to scene two. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over here, I'll click on UI, I'll click on text, and for now I'm just going to use the legacy one, so I'll create text, and let's go ahead and create a button, there we go, and just because right now this is going to be hard to see, so let's also just create a panel, and have the panel all the way at the top. Now for the panel, we can just increase the opacity. And that way, if we go like this, you can see that everything is just more clear. So for the text, let's just have it as scene one. And I might just increase the font a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it at the center. Just like this. Now for the button over here. Let's go ahead and call this one next. And when someone clicks on this button, basically we will be going to the next scene. Let's duplicate this button. And over here, we're just going to call it previous. We're going to, we're going to move this button to the left side. We're going to move that button to the right side. And now we're going to have a very ugly but functional UI. Now what I'll do now is I'm just going to make sure I save this. And now we are going to duplicate this scene by just Command D or Control D for you. And we're going to rename this into Scene 2. There we go. Double click on Scene 2 so we can go to it. And now we've got the exact same UI except for this time, for the text, let's say scene two. And maybe we can also change the color of the panel to a different color, just so that it's easier to actually see and spot. Now, we're gonna go back to scene one, and before anything, what I'll do is I'll come over here, I'll click on file, build settings, and we're going to click on add open scene, so that added scene one, and then we're going to add scene two. There we go. Now what I'll do now is I'm going to go to assets and I'm going to click on create C sharp script. And I'm just going to call it navigation handler. I'm going to double click so that I can open it. And now we have basically this file over here. So what we need to do is we need to go over here and we need to type in using unity engine dot scene management. Over here, we're gonna leave these two the same. We actually don't need them, but I usually prefer keeping them in case further in the game you need it. And then we're going to say public void move to next scene. And then we're going to make another one. So basically, I'm just gonna copy this. And this one moved to PREV previous scenes. And we're going to save it. Instead of here, we're going to say int y is equal to scene manager dot get active scene dot build index. And we're going to say scene. And oh, sorry, I forgot to do this. So here we can say scene manager dot load scene y plus one. So I'm just gonna quickly explain what's going on here. So basically, we created a function, and this function will be triggered when the next button is clicked. And all this function does is it basically gets the current scene that we're on. So if we're in scene one. What it will do is it will say, all right, well, load 
scene number one plus one, which means this will be two. So it's basically asking load scene two. Now, what if we want to go back to the previous scene? Well, think about it. It's actually very easy. We're going to do this. But now instead of saying plus one, we're going to say minus one. And this actually makes it very easy. So now if I go ahead and save this, all we need to do is go back to Unity. Make sure that you're on scene one. We're going to go over here. And we're going to drag this C object, uh, this uh, script, and we're going to place it on the main camera. Now we're going to go to our next button. So let's go back here so we know which one we're clicking on. Our next button. And we're going to scroll to where it says on click. We're going to click this. And then we're going to drag that main camera object over here. We're going to select no function. Go to navigation handler, which is the name of our script. And then we're going to select move to next scene. Now, something else that we're going to do is we can go to our previous function. Do the exact same thing. And over here, navigation handler to previous scene. Awesome. Now let's go to our second scene, scene two, and do the exact same thing. We're going to click on main camera. We're going to drag the script. We're going to click on the next button. And just like we did before, we're going to drag the main camera button uh, object over here. Navigation handler, we're going to select move to next scene. Then we're going to move to the next button. We're going to do the exact same thing, except this one we're going to select previous scene. Awesome. So now if we just click on scenes, go to the first scene and run this application. Now if I click on next, you can see that we go to scene two. If I click on previous, we go to scene one. And this is basically how to navigate from the first scene to the second scene or any other scene in the game. If you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe to this video and leave down a comment below letting me know how I can make better tutorials. Thanks so much for watching.